What's up, Culture Drop? Galen here. Got a topic today that is about attracting talent amidst this talent war. How do we get better people? I'm just gonna cover one aspect that I think is really critical for attracting talent. Uh, and in this, we're gonna do a segment of two minutes on the clock. Jay, you're gonna put two minutes on the clock, tell me when to go, and I will say everything I wanna say about this within two minutes, and then you say, stop, okay. Just mentally get in my head, right? Jay, you tell me when to go, and I'll go. Okay, job descriptions. If you wanna attract people, stand the f out. Don't write the same job description that's so boring that reads like a medical textbook, show some personality. In your job descriptions, when you're attracting people and they're reading about the job, talk about like, just make your job descriptions feel like they were written by a real human. Tell how much the salary is, be transparent, talk about your culture. You have to make a good impression. Historically, it's been like, okay, candidates have to come in and like do a cover letter and make a great impression on us. You have to do the same thing now. You have to make a great first impression on candidates. You can't keep doing it the way you've always been doing it. And for the love of all that is good in the universe, do not make people put in information that's already on their resume. It's the most like, hey, we don't actually care about you as a human being. We want you to submit your resume and then put every single thing in there, type it into this like online thing. You're just showing people, we don't care about you. We're not efficient. We don't have good processes here. You're just a number we don't care about your experience because the experience of having to put in things that are in my resume to write to any person, any candidate, to put their, to have to retype everything in there is ridiculous. It makes them feel like you don't care about them. It's such a low hanging fruit here, but like make your job descriptions amazing. Make a good first impression, stand out. If you have 50 candidates, how do you pick who stands out from the crowd? Same thing, if I'm applying to 25 different companies or 50 companies, how are you gonna stand out to me as a candidate to make me be like, oh, this company looks like they're awesome. They get it, they care about my experience. Like look at your application process and make sure that it is not Make sure that it's awesome, that it's great, that people are inspired uh, to even imply in the idea of working for your company, which, you know, isn't... Oh, that's pretty good. I got what I wanted. Hope that's helpful. This needs to be redone. Companies need to look at that. If you're still hiring the same way that you were 10 years ago, five years ago, you are... <laughs> you're missing out, you're losing a huge opportunity. People aren't even applying for your job uh, or they're getting halfway through the process to be like, peace out. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Subscribe to our channel. We put a lot of content on here. You can also subscribe to the Culture Drop mailing list and get these emails in your inbox every Tuesday morning. Follow our social media channels. Uh, put a lot of free content out about just being more awesome and building great teams.